Go into your working folder and open up shake.psd. I would like to introduce you to an interesting new sharpening filter inside of Adobe Photoshop called Shake Reduction. Its technical name is Deconvolution. It's a very targeted tool. Understand it took me, and I'm not exaggerating, almost two hours to find this image, which I don't think is that great, but this tool works pretty good with it. It doesn't work with out-of-focus images. It doesn't work with images that have motion blur. It works with images that typically are shaken because of a low shutter speed when you took the photograph. So if you're going to try to use it on just about everything, you're going to be a little bit disappointed. It seems like it knows when the image has been shaken and not blurred. So this image fits the bill. This is Los Angeles Union Station. It's actually a pretty famous place, home of Amtrak, at least on the West Coast in the United States. Amtrak is American train travel. It's been in movies, it's been in TV shows, it's been in commercials, all kinds of stuff. And I was taking some test photos, and this one shook. So with the image open that you want, go up to the word Filter, go down to Sharpen, and select Shake Reduction. It will attempt to unshake the image by default. And there it goes. That's rendering the fine preview. Check that out. If I turn off the preview and turn it on, now on the face of it, that's not really that bad for an automatic feature. If you look at the clock over here, easier to read. Now this area right here is called the region of interest. That's the area that the computer thought would be the best area to use as an overall example to correct the image. If you click here, you can pull it out. Now right now, see it's that same area right here. If we move it, say to the clock, there's the before, and here would be the after. You say, well, I like that. You can click here to readjust it. So you have the ability to change that around if you want to. Let's close that. Over here you have blur trace bounds. What's that? If you increase or decrease that number, it will either increase or decrease the aggressiveness of the filter. But if you go too aggressive, you can cause problems with things like artifacts and with smoothing. And that's what these options are down here to play around with. You also have one for source noise and reduction, and it's on auto. You want to make that a little bit higher or lower, you can. Usually auto does a pretty good job. Click OK. Now press undo. There's the before. And there's the after, and that's pure auto. It actually does a pretty good job, but remember, it's got to be an image that has shaken, not blur, not motion blur. We've got filters for those things. This is for one thing and one thing only, shake reduction. And if you've got the right image, it really does a pretty good job.